Okay, um, would it not be better to minimize the risk to the crew to Mars by doing uh, the a lunar base and uh, practicing for it on the moon in hard vacuum and so forth? Well, that would reduce somewhat the risk to the crew going to Mars. On the other hand, a lunar base program is not without risk. If we fly, if we conduct a lunar base and do, you know, 20 missions to the moon, someone's going to get killed doing that. Okay. So if your business is saving lives, that's not the way to do it, okay? And it adds cost to the program, and it delays actually accomplishing the objective, okay? And uh, I think, it, so it, it, overall, it won't save lives. That to say nothing of the fact that if saving, okay, now, now I'm going to say something that is a little subtle here, but I'd like people to, 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 to bear with me, because... I'm advancing a different argument now than is sometimes said where we could save so many lives if we spent the money on the space program on, you know, health services or, or something, okay? It's this. Accomplishing the goals of the space program is not apples and apples with public health. Those are two different objectives. But if within the space program you're saying we have to spend this extra money not for the purposes of accomplishing missions but for the purposes of saving lives, then that is apples and apples with childhood vaccinations. And spending $100 billion or $50 billion or even $20 billion on a lunar base compared to spending that same amount of money on childhood vaccinations, fire uh, escape repairs, highway repairs, body armor for the troops, you know, take your pick, okay, those would all save far more lives than uh, uh, practicing on a lunar base to minimize the risk to five people or four people that are going to fly to Mars on the first mission. Okay? Now, we have to protect the lives of the crew to Mars to the extent that it is necessary to ensure that the mission succeeds. Okay? But if but that then rules out inserting a program into the queue that more or less ensures that the program fails, okay, of delaying on a, a lunar activity for 20 or 30 years before you initiate the Mars program, okay? The, the, the The mission comes first. You, you, you decide you're going to do the mission, you do what is necessary to ensure the success of the mission, um, but you do the mission. Other questions? Uh, you uh, talk about the importance of a heavy lift vehicle. Yes. Now, suppose that heavy lift vehicle is very spot. Mm -hmm. How does it affect your plan going on? Uh, Ares 5 is actually quite similar to the Ares that we uh, designed. Um, and in fact, I think that's why they called it the Aries. Um, but the, the, um, but uh, we could do this with the Aries 5. We could do it with the large version of the direct uh, launch systems. We could do it with the Revive Saturn 5. Five Saturn 5. The issue of which heavy lift vehicle is developed is really secondary for our purposes. But what is primary for our purposes is that there is a heavy lift vehicle. The people who are going around saying that we can do this with Delta IVs, rendezvousing and doing all, that makes the mission impossible. In fact, it even makes the lunar mission impossible. And, and I did a, a review for, in fact, O'Keefe's people on the lunar architecture that they were proposing with four uh, medium lift launches per lunar mission. And it was ridiculous. I mean, do you realize that the reliability for launch on time by expendable launch vehicles in this country is about 0.4? So you have to get, four, well, at least three launches on time. The first one can be delayed as much as you want, but then the next all have to come off on schedule, okay, to rendezvous this thing, because you got the stuff in orbit, the hydrogen oxygen is boiling away. If you don't, and now, of course, if one goes into the drink, then obviously you've lost it, but if one is delayed excessively, you've lost the whole mission. And then you've got four rendezvous on orbit, and you've got all these things to do. Uh, if you were doing one lunar mission, you could cross your fingers and maybe hope to pull that off. Okay, although it would not be 
in my view, a wise plan even for that, which is why it was rejected by the Apollo planners. Um, but to try to do a lunar base with four uh, launch on time launches permission and four orbital rendezvous permission, and uh, you know, it, it, it's more or less courting failure. We need a heavy lift vehicle. That if we don't have a heavy lift vehicle, we are not going anywhere. I'll take one more there. What would you say is better to try to sell to Congress, a U.S. only or an international mission to Mars? Uh, I think what it should be is we should commit to this and invite all other countries uh, to join us. Um, that is, we should not make it contingent upon international uh, cooperation, but we should be fully open to international cooperation. I think we have to close it down. Thank you very much.